so today I'm not here to talk about a new API, an amazing software, anything technical, uh, not at all. Today I'm here to talk to you about turtles. Or I'm here today to talk about uh, uh, foreign culture ceremonies or uh, some um, weird food. So, some weird food. Food, this is food, yeah, in, in some countries. Uh, this is from Cambodia, this is South Korea, and this is Philippines. Um, I'm here to talk about freedom. Um, freedom can take many forms, and the one that I will be focusing on today is uh, freedom of travel. Uh, my name is Luc. Um, I work for a company based in Chicago called Prometsource. Um, I'm a solution architect and I focus on uh, architecture for uh, Drupal and complex implementation of Drupal um, on large projects. And I do all of this uh, remotely. So I don't go to the office every day. Um, and uh, my life in 2017 was not like this. Is there people from India? Because I, I presented this before and someone said, yeah, yeah, this is India. This is <laughs> definitely India. Yeah. So, yeah, my life in 2017 was not like this. My life in 2017 was this. Um, so this is uh, the list of the countries that I visited for a period between a couple of days to a couple of months. Um, so I went to France, Philippines, Japan, Thailand, Australia, Belgium, Italy, Morocco, Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan. And um, to illustrate like this remote listing, like the, the new freedom we can enjoy us as developers, um, here is an office. It's a beautiful big office uh, in um, San Francisco. And you may know the company behind it. It's the company that runs uh, WordPress. Um, they are called o Automatic, I think. Um, and so they closed their office. Um, they had this beautiful space in um, San Francisco but nobody wants to go there. Um, they said to their employee, you can either work from home or you can go to the office, it's up to you. And everybody stayed home. Because offices are killers. They are freedom killers. Um, my idea is that offices, um, they, they can be great, but they also have very tricky um, aspects. So. Usually offices means crowd, uh, it means traffic, it means office hours, waste of time, and it's expensive. So that's why, that, that's a good example. Um, so this is the price uh, of the 20 most expensive cities in the world. Uh, and this is Singapore, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Singapore is one of the most expensive cities in the world. It's on the map. Um, there's also uh, London, uh, Paris. So all, all those places are very, very popular business places, but it's very, very expensive to live there. And the quality of life you will have in those places, well, you could have a much better life-work balance or a better environment in smaller places which are cheaper. Um, and talking about office hours, this is uh, cinema uh, during... Uh, business hours. So if you have the freedom to adjust also your schedule, and if you have more freedom, then you can uh, go to the cinema during business hours. So that's, that's another part of the freedom that we have access to. Uh, if you want to take uh, freedom to the next level, uh, so here is a couple of tips. Um, the first and the main one is that if you want to travel more, you have to travel cheap. But what's even better is to travel smart. So I developed a couple of skills into detecting coupons and uh, codes and, um, you know, in order to travel more. Um, so, for example, if you need to take a fly, um, if you need to go somewhere uh, remotely uh, to, to take a plane, basically, um, I recommend a couple of uh, tools that you can use to compare. Uh, so here is one. Uh, all the companies that I'm going to notice, I don't have any profit or any shares on those uh, companies. I just share it because I like the tools. Uh, that's it. So here is one of them. It's called Skyscanner. Um, and there's another one, Kayak.com. Uh, be careful. Not all of the companies are inside of those sites. Um, 
and sometimes it's uh, API reason, I guess. Uh, so you have to go to the site separately. Uh, in the Philippines, uh, famous one is Cebu Pacific. Cebu Pacific does not appear on Skyscanner or other um, comparison tool. So you still have to use separate websites. Uh, compare hotels. There's different solution for hotels. Uh, if you want to spend one night only, I recommend that you use a comparison tool uh, and you take the cheapest. Uh, TripAdvisor has a great uh, tool that would give you a couple of uh, websites and you get the cheapest uh, place. If you want to stay more than uh, one night, I recommend you to use uh, this website uh, called hotels.com. The big advantage of hostel hotels.com is that it gives you one free night every 10 nights. So it computes the average price of the 10 nights that you bought, and it gives you one uh, voucher of that amount. I use that a lot, and uh, I had, um, I don't know, maybe uh, 10 nights so far for free. So that, that's pretty good. Um, another thing is check for a coupon discount. Um, you just write hotels.com space um, code uh, on, on Google, and you can find 10%. Talk to me after this uh, session. I can give you 11% uh, uh, discount. I have, I have codes. I received this by email, and this is very useful. Um, another solution, yeah, Airbnb. Uh, if you stay, for example, one week to one month, uh, they may offer you minus 25% to minus 50%. Um, yeah, get a, get a bank that is uh, 24 hours with support. That's very, very useful. If you arrive in a country and your card doesn't work, um, then you definitely want 24-hour uh, support. This is a bank in Europe. It's called uh, N26. The big advantage of N26 is that it includes uh, travel insurance as long as you buy the plane tickets with that card. And it also um, provides you uh, no fee when you redraw outside of uh, Europe. So if I redraw in, uh, in here in Singapore with this car, uh, there's no fee. Um, yeah, go where your friends are. Uh, if you have friends in uh, Australia, go to Australia, go to visit them. The best place to travel uh, remotely, uh, to, to work remotely and to travel is to visit your friends. This is where you get the, you get the best advices. Um, yeah, buy smart when you travel. So a couple of advices that I, I can give you is only buy what you need. That's pretty obvious. Uh, don't buy any extra stuff. Buy little, travel light. Uh, look for promos, discount, voucher, codes. Um, and check for, um, for good places to buy. Um, if you go, for example, to a place where there is outlets, um, find some outlet store um, so you can buy cheaper stuff. Uh, secure your Wi-Fi. You need Wi-Fi when you travel. Um, get a pocket Wi-Fi or, uh, you know, uh, get a nearby coffee shop. Try to find places where you can have Wi-Fi. If you want to go nomad, nomad, uh, that's people who don't have uh, any local place where they stay for a very long time. They keep on traveling all the time. I did a bit last year, uh, but some people do that all the time. Um, so there's a nomad list uh, that's to help you compare countries. Um, work from, that's to find co-working space. Uh, and if you want some Drupal events around the globe, uh, you can use Drupal. And I give you uh, a last piece of advice is how I just uh, traveled to Japan for free. So I'm going to give you plane tickets. Uh, no, no, I don't <laughs> know. Sorry. But it's true. I traveled for free uh, to Japan just uh, two days ago. And this is how I did it. Um, this is a trick with Apple. I uh, needed a new laptop, Apple. And the model of laptop that I wanted, MacBook Pro, was 22% cheaper in Japan. Um, so the difference is actually pretty big. In France, uh, the price of the laptop was 2,488 euros. And I paid, in Japan, 1,941. The difference is 527 euros, which covers the price of the ticket from the Philippines, which is 250, and also the price of the hotel that I had for a couple of days. So this is how I traveled uh, for free. And you can do the same if you use this website, applecompass.com. In Hong Kong, uh, Apple delivers to hotels. Um, so if you need to order online, you can still do it. 
It was a bit more complicated in uh, Japan, but um, it worked. Um, one of the last piece of advice that I have is that I don't want to tell anyone, everyone to travel as much as I did in 2017. Um, the last thing we need is every developer to pollute as much as I did in 2017. So if you really want to travel, then please consider um, contributing to your car carbon footprint um, and um, help some uh, charities such as Carbon Found uh, that helps um, uh, non-profit uh, people and uh, helps the environment with projects. Uh, some ideas, yeah, you don't have to go very far if you want to enjoy the freedom of travel. Um, just uh, pick up a good spot uh, that you can reach with 3G, 4G, have a picnic, uh, go camping uh, with 3G, 4G, uh, go to a new coffee shop in your area. Uh, you don't have to go very far. Uh, the main idea is to enjoy freedom uh, and to embrace uh, the fact that and the liberty that we have as uh, remote workers. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can contact me on Twitter, Instagram. If you want more photos of travel, uh, definitely Instagram. Uh, and also, I'm uh, the organizer of Drupal Camp Cebu, uh, which I am happy to announce the date today. Uh, it's going to be November 17. Uh, Cebu is in the Philippines and is famous for resorts, uh, beach. Uh, and uh, Cebu is telling me that I'm time's up. So thank you very much. <laughs>